So down by two at half time, they have won by seven. Semi finals aren't always classics. Don't think we got one. No. I think both teams looked incredibly nervous. There was a lack of game management from both teams, but in particular from La Rochelle with the double sin bin period where they got a penalty try, but then for the next 10 minutes or 12 or the minutes at the time when there were two players, two racing players off the field, they didn't get a point and they were really, really poor. I thought at that stage, Racing, it was advantage Racing. And then Racing blew two tries, both both involving Teddy Tomer where they had an overlaps and, and really should have scored. I think it's we're, we're sitting here in our studio being tough on the goal kicks. It's obviously very windy there, but also it was a very poor goal kicking from both teams, it has to be said, but it's particularly La Rochelle. So there's a lot of work. Obviously a brilliant achievement for Ronan and his club, but they have to perform at a much, much higher standard than that to uh, to really bother Leinster in a couple of weeks. I, I actually can't believe how sloppy both teams were in the semi-final yeah. of Europe. Yeah, it was very they, cool. And was it a nervous kind of sloppy? I, I don't know if it was. I, I know, maybe nerves manifest in different ways. Um, I think there's an element of fatigue, but there were so many balls just thrown around. Like Matt you, um, I mentioned, it, it was like guys playing on, on the beach. Um, you know, on a sunny afternoon, just no respect for the ball whatsoever. Just toss it round. How many balls went on the deck out the back? You know, poor options with kicking, turnover after turnover, not committing the rooks. It was a really, really shambolic performance by both of them. But there was resilience there from La Rochelle um, because the game should have got, slipped away from them. But they got back into it at the start, the second half. They had that really poor period when the opposition were down to 13 but came back and, and the try at the end and, and um, were probably just about value for it. But it seemed like both teams were doing their best to give that one away. Yeah, and I, I think that the only positive that La Rochelle will be able to take from that is, is knowing that there's no possible way that they can play that badly yes. in the final. Yeah. And Leinster would be foolish to read too much into that type no, of performance. No, they, 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 won't, they, they won't be in any way as foolish because they will know that that's exactly their thought process. You know, and, and when, when teams go on to win, win big tournaments, you can almost pinpoint one performance along the campaign that was really, really poor. Um, and I think Leinster will know that the La Rochelle that turned up today will not possibly be that bad in Marseille. Mm. A word on Ron Nogara, second successive final. This is not a team in the habit of making finals. That's very impressive. Hugely, hugely impressive. And I think what Ronan really shows is that it takes a special mindset to win in Europe. And if your leader has that mindset and says, this is highly valuable to us, I want to win it, it's good for you, it's good for the club, mm. and shows that mindset, which is winning on the road. So let's remember that's an away game for La Rochelle. Might have been an away game for both teams, mm. but it's certainly an away game technically for La Rochelle. Winning on the road in Europe, winning the big knockout days on the road, that's a mindset issue. And Ronan deserves a lot of credit with what he's done with that club. Because before he got there, they were, I won't say perennial losers, but they certainly weren't winners. And I think the big... The big challenge for Ronan now is he's got his team to two finals, is to convert one of those to a trophy. And that sounds like a trite statement. That's hard to do. Mm. That is really, really hard to do.